everybody, Ben Woodruff here with another Falconer video. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing an incredible net system produced by Western Sporting, which is their Dogaza net system. Now, Dogaza nets have been around for thousands of years, They're used in many countries around the world, and the idea has spread. But the variation, the, the basic idea is you have a net of some kind, like you find a bird that you're going after, you put you set up the net, and you put some sort of bait behind the net, the bird comes through, the net disconnects in some way, and the bird gets caught. It's a pretty direct system, it works very well, and usually if the bird leaves the perch, it's caught. And I really enjoy this sort of system uh, for trapping a wide range of raptors. But you know, uh, falconers love to tinker with things and, and fine tune and make them better and better. And Western Sporting has done an incredible job with this particular setup. Now I'm gonna have a link in the description to uh, show you where you can purchase this setup. But I love it because it's basically all self-contained. It's got everything you need. Um, normally, normally a Dogaza net system has some sort of a drag line. So when the bird goes through the net, then, then you, you might be going really fast, it might be going 50, 60 miles an hour, even faster, and it's gotta to come to a stop. And so usually there's some sort of a drag line to slow the bird down, and that may unravel for a long distance, which can be potentially dangerous. Western Sporting has factored that in and understood that the principle of this thing is you've got to absorb the shock of the impact of a bird hitting the net and the net disconnecting. So rather than having a drag line, this thing is entirely self-contained. It utilizes a bungee cord system uh, with these gentle bungees that stretch out and the poles that are holding up the net and suspending the net up are made out of uh, fiberglass, very lightweight fiberglass, and they come apart. They actually disconnect. And that's really a great thing because everything combined in this trap is designed to just disconnect it and let the bird just come to a gentle stop quickly, swiftly, and close to the point of origin rather than dragging some drag line a long distance. The net itself is suspended by uh, specialized clips, these uh, specific clips that, that kind of hold it in place. And there are metal rings that run along the bungee cord line, and these are attached to the net. Now, showing this, it's, it's kind of hard to show because the net is meant to not be seen by the bird getting caught. So it's kind of hard to film this. And it might seem very complicated. It's not. It's an incredible precision trapping system. The setup is easy. The takedown is easy. The untangling is easy. Everything about this particular setup I love because it has been designed specifically uh, by fine-tuning things over the years, which you don't normally have. Normally, it's like, if it's, don't broke, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But this is like, hey, the, everything has been thought of on how to make this an extremely highly effective but easy setup to use. Now the net that you're gonna be using, Western Sporting offers a wide range of nets, both in sizes and in colors. Uh, and you gotta figure what works best for your area. Are you uh, trapping over snow? Maybe you want a white net. Maybe you're having a dusty landscape with a, with a lot of uh, sandy dirt. Maybe you want something light in color. Um, there's, what I like about these systems though, is that they are packaged um, they're wrapped up in a way that they're on that they're already easy to set up Normally if you buy a net from other people the nets just kind of bunched up in a bag these things are wrapped And so you can just unwrap them easy. You don't have to worry about them being tangled You don't have to worry about untangling them and as far as the color to use I like to default to black you can use any color uh, I've caught birds with a black net in white snow uh, and vice versa. I've used white nets in dark settings, but normally it's nice to try to use something that will match your setting. What I like about black is black is a negative color, meaning you it, it blends into shadows really well, and it's easy for an eye, like the eye of a raptor that's trying to focus in, it's easy for them to uh, kind of uh, filter out that black net. So I, I prefer using black nets, but White Western Sporting has, again, a beautiful range of sizes and colors that you can use. They're easy to untangle and they're very solid. I've used them for uh, birds as large as jeer falcons. The metal rings and the beads that attach the net to the whole net system these uh, are, uh, connect and disconnect incredibly easy. This is really nice because normally if you have these things looped through your net, then when you're untangling your bird, these little beads and things keep getting tangled into the net itself. It's way easier if you just have the bird and the net and that's all you're dealing with. And I love that about this system is that both the beads and these rings just come right out 
and you can get the bird untangled quickly and de-stressed as soon as possible. Uh, this system also comes with a high quality painted metal bait board. Uh, it's got bungee cords, little bungees, so that the bait is not stressed jumping around. It's a good system, it's a good setup, and it's the right weight for something like the size of a starling or a sparrow. And I, it works really, really well. It's well thought out, and the fact that it's painted a dull matte black is also very good because again, you don't want reflections. You don't want your bird to see something metal reflecting because that can throw them off. Now, I have used this trap system for all kinds of birds. I've used it for hawks, I've used it for falcons. Um, the smallest things I have trapped with it are kestrels, or American kestrels. Uh, it, it works really good for this. To be fair, kestrels fly so slow that sometimes a kestrel will see a net at the last minute and go up and over it. But usually, 80, 90% of the time on kestrels, uh, you can catch them with this net just fine. But um, I, I've used it for everything. I've, this is the perfect, perfect, perfect design system for trapping large falcons. You know, in America, you know, prairie falcons, peregrine falcons, jeer falcons, and, you know, in other countries, you know, things like lanner falcons, saker falcons, lagger falcons, all those would work really good with this system. It's perfectly designed for this kind of setup, and it works wonderfully for it. Uh, I have used this countless times for myself and to help other people uh, to recover lost birds, to use for uh, all kinds of all kinds of situations, and I love this system. I, I don't want to ever go back to any other system. So I highly recommend this. Uh, again, I'll have a link down below from Western Sporting of where you can obtain this system and the nets as well. The nets are cheap. It I used to so I used to stitch my own nets. Took me forever. It was a pain. The the nets themselves are worth their weight in gold. They are solid. They are strong and they last. Uh, and I I love to give them away as gifts because they're just like, hey, you want to go do Gaza trapping? Here, have a good decent net. So. I do love this system. I highly recommend it, and I've wanted to review this for a while, but I've been busy recovering after surgery and haven't gotten around to doing it. So finally getting the chance to review this epic system. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your questions and comments down below. Let me know your experiences with this net system and with Dogaza trapping in general. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, happy hawking. Mm -hmm.